always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. What a beautiful day. We can really feel the heat moving back in. It's going to get even hotter for Sunday and Monday. Live look outside, beautiful blue sky, just a few high clouds. We do have a bit of haze in the atmosphere, and our air quality across West Michigan is sitting at a moderate currently. So just keep that in mind. Those that are in the sensitive groups definitely will be feeling it today and could be tomorrow as well. The wind is going to be staying really light the next few days. So that means that we have less of a chance of mixing out some of that particulate matter. High temperatures today did climb up to 84, exactly where we were expecting it for the Grand Rapids area. A little cooler to the north, just a touch warmer to the south. Tomorrow we add on a few degrees and we're going to start with the overnight lows. For example, tonight we sunk down to about 59 degrees. Tonight, <laughs> last night, 59 degrees. Tonight, we are going to be dropping down to about 63. So you can already start to feel the uptick right out of the gate tomorrow morning. We could see one or two clouds across the area, but we're not expecting much. Currently, we have a cold front that's passing to the north of us, but it's not impacting us. Instead, we're just seeing a little bit of cloud runoff. And our next system that's going to pass through is a wave of warm air that will be moving up from the south. That wave of warm air will have a warm front on the leading edge, and it could pop off an isolated shower, but most of Sunday is looking mostly sunny, and you will feel the effects of that front as our high temperatures launch to 88. For Monday, 90 degrees, hot and more humid. Uh, Monday, we have a full day where all the warm air can pull in. So that's why Monday will be even hotter than Sunday, even though the warm front is tracking through on Sunday. Check out temps. It's 88 in Winnipeg. 89 in Pierce, South Dakota. We've got 90 in Chicago. A lot of this warm air is going to continue to funnel in. So we really are getting a break from the cool temperatures and launching back to midsummer feel. Here's your future cast. You can see the wave of scattered shower activity. This is what's going to be lifting through tonight and tomorrow. And that's why tomorrow, especially early in the day, we have a chance for a pop of a shower. And then into Monday, we also have a chance for a pop of a shower. Not much though. I don't think much will be able to make it to the ground. Still an isolated shower is possible. We kept a few isolated shower chances in your eight day forecast. But the next chance of widespread rain really does not arrive until Thursday and Friday. Thursday, a good portion of the day could be dry until the evening when we start to see the evening chance roll in. And then Friday, a cold front should help to kick up some showers and storms before a cool down. Stick around. Lainey Gerber is in next. She's live with the Detroit Lions.